Let's make some basic setups in your new GP company. First of all, let's go to the company folder and expand that. The first thing you want to do is go to company setup. Here you'll enter some basic information about your company. Once you've filled in the name and the addresses, you can hit OK. The next thing we want to do is go to fiscal period setup. Let's go there. And what we'll do here is we'll set up all the fiscal periods that we want in our business. In GP, you can have as many years as you want to. I've got three years set up here. If I wanted to set up an additional year, I can merely type that in, tab off that. It'll give me a first day and the last day. If I wanted to change that to match my fiscal period, I could do that right here. Once I'm done, I'll hit Calculate. I can easily change the period names by overriding the defaults. When I'm completely done, I'll hit OK. Now let's go into the multi-currency access setup. What you want to do here is select the US dollar and make sure that your new company has access checked to it. Let's hit OK. Now you may or may not want to add a new user. If you want to add a new user, go to the user setup right here. Type in the new user information. When you have the new user information typed in, hit save. The next thing you'll want to do is to make sure that that new user has access to your company. So go to user access setup, select the new user, and then make sure to check access to your new company. And there you've done it. You've set up the basic setup for your new company in GP.